Hello all, and welcome back to Coolest Gamers Let's Play of Assassin's Creed Origins. Part 30. Part Trenta, that's right. I've been at this for 10 consecutive days now. And, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in no condition to stop, let me tell you. I'm hoping that this series ends up being around 120 parts. I think that's a realistic projection, but it very well could be 200, depending on how much side content I have to do. But, probably start uploading, like, hour-long vids for side content, stuff like that. Just for the sake of brevity. Well, not time-wise, but part-wise. You gotta, you gotta love a good bout of brevity in this life. Nothing delivers a point more efficiently than sheer concision Sheer forcefulness. Which is why Let's Play as a genre is so impractical. I mean, I don't know who I'm making these videos for. Myself, I suppose. So, uh, I think we're gonna help out the bodyguard finally. I think we're about ready to do that. Um, if I can get out of this time freeze. That music is still playing though. Woo! Is that a sitar? He deserves our help. He's been standing there for a month now. Well, right after this. You gotta get that papyrus, baby. You gotta get that paper. I did the exact same thing I did the first time I came to the Great Library. I assumed that the papyrus must be hidden in a bird's nest of some kind. I'm really not sure. You know, why do birds nest on top of buildings anyway? I mean, do they think they're so much better than us? I wish birds, I wish you could pet birds, you know, like, like, you know how you can kind of learn a squirrel with a nut every now and then, maybe? Like, I just wish I could go out with, like, some peanuts, put my hand out, and a crow would just, like, land on my arm like, How, how did Bayek do it? How did he tame an eagle? That's what I want to know. Sorry if you're trying to read there. It's it's not terribly important. They want to convince you that, you know... Oh man, this is where, like, geometry was founded. But... It's all just fodder. It's all just there to make the world more believable. I think these scholars are shocked that I'm wearing only a bath towel. But that's clearly racist. It's clearly a double standard. Because they're essentially all wearing costumes which are equivalent to bath towels. It's just for them, it's a cultural icon. For me, I'm just a black dude in a bath towel. I mean, look at these guys. They're practically... What is this? The fucking pajamas? Are we in a hospital? At least I look like I'm in health, you know? I just got from a bath, you know, out from a bath. I'm all swole. I got this thick covering of hair on my chest. I'm virile, I'm sexy, I'm there, I'm with it. And these guys all have bowl cuts and they're wearing hospital gowns. And they say that the white race is superior. Really, I just wish I could go around killing Greeks and Romans like like civilians, you know? That would go against my code, though. 
At one point, I saw an alley cat. I shot it, mm -hmm. which I regretted. And the game told me that cats are sacred beings, and I need to not harm them. It's my job as the Vegi to protect cats. That's essentially what they said. It's like, no. I think my job as the Medjai is to go around killing evil dudes. You know, which Medjai is it that's on cat duty? Certainly not me. But it's funny, cats still love me. It's like, if they were divine beings, wouldn't they be, wouldn't they be able to tell that I killed one of their own? Myth busted. We found that fucking scroll. Brings me to a swamp where I find the next treasure. This one's pretty easy. The one that I pick up after that one, though, is a complete pain in the ass. It's driving me crazy. There's actually like 30 minutes of footage I'm not even going to put in here where I'm just looking for it. And it is so dull. I don't, I don't even know, like... Unless I have a political issue to talk about that day, maybe then I'll upload it. Man, in retrospect, I should have gone around with a torch lighting those braziers just to freak everybody out. There's a black dude in a bath towel lighting all the torches in our library. What the fuck? By the way, I'm not a racist. Just getting in the mindset, getting into the historical moment where, you know, these were people living in their native country for being treated like trash. It's colonialism at its, uh, at its absolute worst here. Or imperialism, whatever you call it at this point. Oh, okay. He needs me to move snake statues. Being a merchant is no simple matter, sir. I assure you, moving tiger skins or even statues is not easy work. Because they're heavy? Ah, these workers never when you tell them to be. As I was saying, you must be quick. Oh, and do not stray from your task at all. I will know if you have. This is all I have left since the flood. Seems you care a lot for your cargo. I swear on her mother's grave she was sent from the gods to make Alexandria better. She? Your mom? I have your bodyguard what? here. Do not let this be a repeat of the last time, Doctor. Wait, oh, this hardly seems to be what you asked. Medjai, I will pour drachmas down your throat as long as she is safe. That doesn't sound pleasant. Yara, remember the reception tonight. You will be ready. Of course, Father. Was that a threat? I'm so happy you have come to assist me, sir. We will get you home fast. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh, of course. Thank you, my They didn't care about getting wet back then. Look just like Heracles. Perhaps I'll call you my Heracles. Ay, yeah, yeah, this girl. First she jumps in the water with a fucking sundress on. Finally. Now she's calling me her Heracles. No matter. Child, it's time to return you home. I will not go. Have you met the priests yet? Dull. Now, I must go to the central market. I heard of new Persian linens. I need them. Or what? No, you don't need them. I will scream, which will call the soldiers. Then, well, typical entitled you survive, bitch. Father will be quite angry. Anubis, take this city. Are you Sekhmet in disguise? Sent to test me. What was that? Nothing. Good. First, she doesn't know my gods. My She's been treated absolutely terribly without me around. I rock the Altai ear outfit in this vid. I think, I think it's the last time I wear it. Water. It's pretty bad. It's a pretty bad fucking outfit. I don't like it. I'm not digging it. Clean the water? How are they gonna clean the water? I simply adore this part of the city. So rusty. You, you just talk shit know. about the water, and now you're trying to convince me that you like 
poor people. Why are you running like that? You're running like a Korean first generation student. She's a weird one. Young Mrs. So nice to see you again. As you asked, she has been given new shoes. Yeah, now, was that so difficult? The Emperor has no. Now, out of my pay, the shoes. deal was only to get you home, not to pay for your horse. I'm sure my father would not be pleased with you discussing this in front of him, horseman. Of course. Uh, I'll discuss it with your father. Oh, Pegasus. I know you Never hate said me. Yes, Greg. indeed, you beautiful creature. If only you had wings. Time to go, bodyguard. Am I supposed to like her? Like, is she supposed to be a character I care about? That is it. I am taking you home, Princess Kara. Oh, all you big broody types are the same. Never let me have any fun. I should just leave you here. You're duty bound to deliver me, are you not? Who would know if I left? Your conscience would, of course. Look there, bodyguard. Th that is where I had my first discussion with the soldier. I'm uh, sure he was very graceful. We must stop at the market for more linens. I will take you to your house as your father bade, and nowhere else. Did now she say on. that she you had know, sex with the soldier? Destroying my chances at getting the or she had an argument? I don't know, that wasn't very As clear. Is that supposed to be clear? You are much more serious than my usual bodyguards. Who wrote this shit? You could move faster, bodyguard. Bodyguard. I have a name. Bayek. Wanted to spice things up. This was not your typical escort mission. You know, I complain about escort missions all the time, but I think in this case, something just brought wanted me to make it more tedious. Never let that happen again. What time freeze? That wasn't me. Ah, you do know my name. I remember all their names, you know. Whose names? The bodyguards. I send gifts to their families when I come. Gara. Wait. Gara. Yes. If we go find your linens, would you be happy? Did she just imply that all her bodyguards of died? Course. Thank you, Bayek. You have an interest. <laughs> oh. <gasps> what is she? <laughs> all right, sorry about that. Ah, Little hiccup. These linens show some promise. Ah, it's so heavy. Would you help? <laughs> to be honest, I made a joke. I didn't want to be there. I thought it would add to the intrigue of it to cut the clip there, so you guys will wonder what 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 they joke did I make that I shouldn't have. Stay it's up to you. It's a little Don't extra leave. bonus uh, content for this vid. It's my first uh, in a while, I think. I'm getting better. Who's shooting? Who's shooting? I nearly stole that Greek woman's horse. Whoa! That's cool. Whoa there, guy. Altair has a fireproof outfit. Your troublesome mistress will have missed you. Pegasus, huh? I like it. Suits a horse. Just the right like height. No bucket required. Over here, Bayek! Bayek, Bayek. Bye, bye, Bayek. Pegasus was limping, Bayek went to deal with her shoe. It was only gone a moment. Oh. I heard some commotion, but according to my little princess, you're the hero of the day. Don't indulge her like that. Can he always be my bodyguard? Please? Is she like 32 years old? I mean, why is she acting like she's this helpless teenager? Alas, then allow me to grant you a hero's pay for a hero's service. It better be enough. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good night. Hold on to love with every fiber of your being. Good night, baby.